Hi folks, and this week I come to you from the WAC New York offices. Um, we're here to prep for Light Fair, if it happens, and uh, I just want to share with you some of that preparation as we make our way through booth construction and some of the, some of the decisions that have to be made. Uh, in this case, it's a very uh, uh, kind of a stumped version of, but there are still choices and selections uh, things that have to go on, and I thought it'd be fun for you to see some of those. So, here we go. I'm going to start this conversation in the WAC booth area. Now, this is not a finished construction. This is where we begin our, our kind of travel, our inspiration. It's where we find kind of the hone our our anticipation and expectations uh, and we do so by taking uh, in most cases something that we've done before and in this case these are the booth parts from Modern Forms a couple of years back and we kind of put them together in a different formulary did we like it didn't we like it that kind of thing and uh, and from there we decide whether to say add panels add areas for product take them away, uh, really decide on the, the bigger, grander scheme or picture uh, based on, on that inspiration that comes from seeing something in place. Once we have that product and or let's call it the, let's call it the bones in place, we then really start to decide if this is what I have to work with, what can I display? And where would I put it? And will it tell the story? Or will it simply be fluff and just be a way to, if nothing else, show a piece? For the most part, we want to tell a story. And to do that, you really have to think beyond just how many fixtures can I fit on that wall? Once we have decided that, yes, in fact, those bones are the structure we want to work with, we then pick our fixtures based on what those bones have inspired us to, to both look, do, and see. And the easiest way is to either cut up a catalog and literally paste these on the wall, tape these to the wall, and have folks look around, or do it by post-it note. And in either case, you wind up able to roughly decide what makes sense and what doesn't, or at least give a place to start and decide what you can or can't fit in a particular formula. While I don't have a mid-construction booth, I do have a finished booth uh, and this is what we do. We, we develop it all the way through final and full construction right in the warehouse. And in this case, this is a spire. Uh, this is one of our subdivisions. Uh, but this is what we, what we present to ourselves and our other personnel to have them walk the booth, have them say yes or no, have them add their voice to the conversation, decide whether what we've put together makes sense. Um, and in, uh, in the case of WAC, Modern Forms, Modern Forms fans, the WAC landscape folks, Aspire, all follow the same protocol and the same formulary, and we put it together and decide as a team, do we like it or not? And if it's a not, we, <laughs> we scrap the not part and start again. Once we've decided and have everything put together the way we want it, we then completely deconstruct it and we load it into these containers over here. At some uh, juncture, somebody decides that, you know what, 50 containers was enough. <laughs> but long and the short of it is, it gets all put together, boxed up, ready to be reconstructed at whatever the trade show may be. The process itself 
can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to several months. If we have to do major construction beyond being able to say reuse, reutilize something we already have, uh, that certainly can add to the time frame. But generally speaking, uh, we start thinking about the if the show is the end of April uh, or somewhere in there, May, uh, we were probably constructing and doing our design work somewhere at the beginning of the year, January into February, uh, looking for the the basic outline and structural components to be done by the end of February so that in March we can put the whole thing together, we can put fixtures on the wall, and uh, then we can deconstruct it, package it up, and get it ready for shipping. So I thought maybe this would be something folks would like to see, would like to know about, and see what we do, or at least the way we do it. Doesn't make it right, doesn't make it wrong, uh, but it is the way in which we approach the trade show world, and I hope you've enjoyed. All for now.